Hi, I'm Dr. Varshi Booman. I'm a nephrologist with South Texas Renal Care here in San Antonio, Texas. And I'm Lorena Kaplan, an HV registered dietitian with Nutrition Services. And today we're going to talk about the importance of phosphorus in the kidney patient. I think people don't realize that the kidney uh, is involved in many functions and one of them is excreting phosphorus. So when our kidney patients start having failing, failing kidneys, phosphorus excretion becomes a problem, so they have to be cognizant of what foods they eat so they do not retain too much phosphorus. Mm -hmm. Phosphorus is an important element in our diet and it participates in many cellular functions, namely in energy uh, use. Uh, ATP, which is the uh, substance or compound that our body uses to make energy, is rich in phosphorus and phosphorus is a key component of it and I think that's why phosphorus is important from a nutritional standpoint. Absolutely and to a dietitian, phosphorus can be a little trickier um, to navigate from a from a food label perspective because it's not on the label but some things that we can start to teach you is that well, phosphorus follows protein right and so if you have protein sourced foods more likely there's going to be phosphorus in there as well. Um, the other thing that we know is that um, sodas, dark sodas, are going to have high amounts of phosphorus. So we um, always make sure that you are not consuming those and give you alternatives as well to be able to, to still have those kind of foods and drinks that you do love. And so those are the conversations and the tough conversations that we're having sometimes with patients to help them understand, you know, this is going to be better for your health because it's going to improve your kidney function or at least maintain where you're at right now. Um, but but as, as far as those foods that we're taking out, promise you that we're going to give you something to put right back in as a substitute. So we'll never just give you and say, no, you can't have this. Our role as a dietitian in this coordinated care is to make sure that you've got that substitute item so that you're not feeling that you're lacking anything. Um, we look at food in so many different ways, not only as a comfort for us, but culturally we know how important it connects us. And so again, the role of the dietitian is to make sure that nothing is missing or feeling that you're lacking from um, to live your, your day to day. I love what you said about sodas because it's such a big part of our culture as Americans to drink sodas with every meal that we uh, uh, consume. And I think uh, they're very poorly understood beverages. Mm -hmm. uh, one doesn't know what happened to the days maybe a hundred years ago where we just drank water. Right. And we feel the need to drink something else. And, you know, I think in a kidney patient it becomes very important, especially as they have decline in function. One of our challenges is telling the patients, look, this phosphorus is bad for you because they feel fine. Yes. They will not suffer the consequences of elevated phosphorus levels until sometimes it's too late. Mm -hmm. uh, by that I mean when people have elevated phosphoruses, their phosphorus can bind calcium in the body and cause deposits in soft tissue. Mm -hmm. It can cause a life-threatening condition called calciphylaxis. Mm -hmm. They can develop coronary artery disease, mm -hmm. so vessels of the heart can be blocked and calcified. Mm -hmm. And the same thing is true in vessels of the rest of the body and soft tissue, cartilage, and so forth. So there are many complications that we don't necessarily see in our kidney patients nowadays because we're doing a better job at managing it. But I think if people know what things they can avoid and so forth, then we can prevent those complications, even in those select few who don't follow our recommendations. I agree, I agree. And be honest with your care team, be honest with your nephrologist and your dietitian, because I know sometimes it can be a little daunting or um, you know, scary to, to talk about the, the different uh, diets that you are having or, or practices you're having, but we promise you are both here just to make sure that, that you um, reach optimal health. Absolutely, and I think it's important for you to know we also enjoy those same food items that you like to enjoy, but knowing what we know, we limit it. I may have a little bit of soda once a month uh, so that I don't forget the taste or I get to enjoy the taste and I feel like, okay, I don't have to restrict things all the time, but I think uh, you will succeed if you restrict those things 90, 95% of the time and get to enjoy them at an event or, or at a gathering. Right. right time and right place for everything. Absolutely.